Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your reading for the last week of October and in the theme of October. I'm Miss CD if you're new to my channel, but today we're going to be a little red riding hood. So thank you guys so much for joining and for checking it out. Thank you again for all the comments, likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you like it, don't forget to like it. I appreciate it. We're going to get started with the messages. These are the notes from the universe on love and connection for my beautiful Leos. Let's see what's coming through. Wow, that was fast i guess we're good so we're gonna read the messages for you quickly these are gonna be a little shorter because we are dealing with the retrograde and the super moon on the 31st so of course i would also like to give myself time to go through all the processing we're about to have but start where you are leo start now start where you are i'm gonna re just read the messages on the back for you it says the great thing about feeling deep profound earth-shaking love is that you can start with anyone next the universe <laughs> so start where you are if you want to start with this person if you want to start over totally up to you they choose you leo well of course they would they should but they are yay <laughs> so it's always exciting you might not readily believe this it might even spook you a bit but there are those who choose this very lifetime in large part knowing you'd be there wow now that's what we call a reputation hugs the universe i don't know why that hits so hard i really hope you understand that that there are people who chose to be in your life in this lifetime and i know you might not see them right now i know you might not know but i know you know they know <laughs> you might not know now but you will <laughs> did i not just the same universe is just totally flexing right now so Think of someone very, very special to you. Now feel yourself bursting with love for them. Now mentally shower, drench, and soak them in that love. Now mentally shower, drench, and soak yourself in my love. Wow. Now feel it always, the universe. That's amazing. These messages, Leos, you guys, you guys are getting the best ones. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> if they love once, if they once loved you, they still do. Saturn, what's Saturn doing? We gotta find that out. Thanks for every single time you ever fell in love. Whether or not it was obvious, whether or not it lasted, or whether or not you were loved back, it changed everything. Actually, you're always loved back. You're, you change her, the universe. I love it. These are beautiful. So much powerful love for my Leos. I love it. So self-love here too. Hopefully attracting you that beautiful new love really soon because you already have it. And if someone wasn't meant to give it to you, next. Let's get the romance angels rolling up their sleeves. Let's see what's coming through for you. I love we're ending on such a beautiful energy for you guys because all this transformation that we've been going through since your season has truly been to do this. And the hunter moon now is kind of like the target where you're going, what you're achieving, what you're getting now. You're getting what you've been working so hard for. Uh, one more, please. One more romance angels. If not, then I appreciate you. Okay, I'll take that one. I'll take what it shows me. We have engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment so if they loved you once they loved you now they could be coming in to of course tell you this congratulations if you are getting engaged we do have make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take putting in your effort as you so hardly have been working here finding that great love but again playfulness to have fun to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit to have fun and shine so truly putting yourself out there embracing the moments making the effort enjoying the process engaging yourself i feel like for some of you too you want things to go to a higher level of commitment so don't give up because you're still looking for that person who's going to love you the way you love them too okay then we have finances and career so leo you could be very busy finance financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so for some of you you could be very busy on work or trying to figure out work or money could be the situation this connection is revolving around this circumstance so this could be of course in the past present or future however it applies to your situation oh speaking of past past life relationship you have known each other before the person you're connecting with could be England here because we have the um, 
Stonehenge. So I feel like for some of you, again, very powerful past life symbolisms here. So I feel like, you know, the love, the universe. And again, when it said that people had planned to be here at the same time, maybe it's not multiples. Maybe it's just the one. <laughs> so you could be, of course, meeting this person or getting engaged or, of course, recognizing a past lover. Jeez. Jeez, are we taking all of these? I feel like I didn't even ask yet. Sorry, I'm knocking over my little guys here. Let's see, what's coming in for my beautiful Leos? Ten of Cups, need I say more? One card reading, Leo, congratulations, you've got it all. You could be getting, of course, a wish come true with this, emotional fulfillment here. You could be dealing with the Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Scorpio season is going to bless you. I feel like some of you could be getting a new home, uh, beautiful new stability and security here, major happiness, merging of a house, moving in together, sun card, hello, Leo. Oh, I'm so happy. We're going to have so many happy Leos. This is beautiful, beautiful energy. You are the center of the world. You are doing so good. I feel like for some of you, you've reached so much emotional and um, just all this happiness. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my costume here. A lot of beautiful stuff making this beautiful energy happen. I'm going to move these guys. Oh my gosh. I feel like the whole deck wants to talk to you today. So I'm really happy because that means for me, there's a lot of enlightenment. Wow. Hangman at the bottom. You guys have been enlightened. There's a lot of stuff you're learning and realizing, and you're just coming from this beautiful enlightened energy with the sun here. Could have been, of course, a very positive decision that was made here with this indecision, kind of divine protection. All those people that didn't work out, all those situations that didn't happen, they weren't meant to. You were divinely redirected. Okay, let's call it divine detouring. <laughs> <laughs> like divine protection also is part of that here so bringing you into that beautiful order um if they loved you once they still do so i feel like someone couldn't make this decision now it's going to be made air sign libra gemini or an aquarius i feel like it's going to be a positive choice or you have been waiting to make the best choice or you were waiting for certain things to improve before making this choice making this effort here is also part of it Four of Wands. Look at that. Beautiful stability. Building that future. Could be moving in with someone that you have a family with. They could have children. You could have children. Or you guys want children. Um, I feel like you recognize each other. There's such a beautiful innocence to the love that you both share. Which I really do think is adorable. And with the Four of Wands. With the Ten of Cups. Like I said. It's like a happy home. Happy life. Happy wife. Happy husband. Whatever the dynamic is in your connection. Um, no judgment of course. But this is bringing that beautiful stability and it's going to be very positive and once you make this choice for some of you you could be also trying to make this choice based on logic but there's a lot of emotions ten of cups they make you so happy i feel like for some of you like you said if they choose you they choose you if not next like you're ready are you gonna choose this okay great let's do this if not next I'll find one. High Priestess, knowing and following your feet. For many of you, Pisces energy, you've been really listening to your guides in the past new moon energy to the full moon energy, following your intuition, listening to what you're meant to do, trusting your guidance, trusting your direction, trusting your knowledge even. I feel like some of you are tapping into that with that enlightenment energy. You're starting to remember who you are and you could also be having these experiences through dreams with your person. Um, this can be past life memories, past life things coming up, uh, past life situations where you're recognizing this person and being like how do I know you and then you're having these downloads I don't know maybe some of you are getting really tapped in with this high priestess though is just a lot of secrets that haven't been revealed yet and I feel like part of it is what you don't see yet so this is sort of like bringing you this beautiful stable situation and you're kind of just trusting it you're going along with it having fun two of cups Ooh, look at that definitely a past life connection someone who really really strongly mind body and soul like they just feel familiar your souls recognize each other that's what it is your souls 100 percent recognize each other you know you've probably probably been married in a past life probably have had children with this person you feel like the way she's just gliding towards this like you feel so drawn to them and then all of a sudden you meet i feel like you could be meeting your person or of course for some of you realizing who your person is because maybe it was a secret maybe they haven't revealed this to you they haven't revealed what they want what they want is you <laughs> I love it. Uh, then we have the page of cups. So there's that confession. There's that expression. Someone could be, of course, expressing their cup of love to you and telling you how they feel. Okay, so are we truly talking about our feelings? And I feel like this retrograde is bringing out a lot of stuff for you. A lot of truths will be revealed, but you have like 
literally so many positive cards here, Leo. Um, this beautiful connection will bring you stability, security, abundance, blessing. We got the rainbow twice. We got the rainbow over the Ten of Cups. We got the rainbow over the Two of Cups. Extremely blessed union. I feel like when I was saying that this person chose this life because they knew you were going to be here, you're meeting them. This was one of the most amazing readings for you ever, Leos. I had so much fun doing this. Thank you. Thank you for letting me share this. And congratulations on finding the love of your lives. <laughs> I feel like you spent many lifetimes with this person. It's exciting for me, for you. I love it. Guys, thank you again so much because together we have donated almost 200 meals. So thank you. So keep taking those links and activating them below. I appreciate it. Share them with all your loved ones. Please check out all the other videos. Focus on the titles. They can give you more clarity in your current situations. Again, no extendeds to these readings, but members can access all the other extendeds in the members only section. Just become a member below. Guys, see you soon. God bless you all. Love and light. Take care.